Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use Ghibli. Ghibli is one of the best time tracking and attendance app as it allows you to quickly add team members and set up on the platform and it also offers numerous standout features. For example, it offers geo tracking and geo tracking would be perfect for persons that are doing remote work or out in the field work and you would like to track where they are at the moment. And it also allows you to easily set up leaf management and so on. To get started, you will need to tap on track it now and you can start for completely free. After you have done that, you can sign up using your email address or your Facebook account. Once you have signed up, you will be redirected to this page and you can see to choose one or more goals, whether it is you like to monitor time and attendance, review hours for payroll or track time on projects, you can select either one or you can select all three. For this example, I will select all three. Then you are going to select continue. After you have done that, what devices will your team be using? And you could select whether they are using mobile apps, personal computers, or shared kiosko. So I'll be selecting personal computers and I'm going to tap on continue. After you have done that, where did you first hear about us? And you can select whether it was a TV advertisement, search engine or social media. Then you'll tap on continue. Once you have tapped on continue, you're going to give it a few seconds. Meanwhile, they set up the dashboard. Once the dashboard has been created, I'll be showing you what to do from there. Okay, once you're on the dashboard, the first thing you will need to do is add your team members. To do that, you're going to go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to select people. After selecting people, what I want you to do next is go over to the top right hand corner and from there, you're going to tap on add members. After you have tapped on add members, you can either choose to invite your team members by link or you can invite by email or phone number so you could enter in the person's name email address and then from there you could send them an email invitation or if you like to send them an sms invitation you can do that once you have added your team members you'll also be able to create groups by tapping on create a group although unfortunately the create a group platform or better yet feature is only available on the paid plan. Once you have done that, the other thing that I would also recommend you do is go back and from here you can tap on dashboard once more in the top left hand corner. After you have tapped on dashboard, you will now be able to set up time tracking. So you can tap on time tracking and I'll do this myself. So you'll tap right there. After you have tapped on tra time tracking, you'll be redirected to this dashboard. Once you have selected time tracking, what I want you to do next, you could tap on the pencil and from there you can select the different devices that your team members will have access to. So for example, if you plan on downloading the mobile app also, you can do that. Then you are going to tap on save. After you have done that, you're going to scroll down and you can see the time clock restrictions. And this simple means the different requirements that you would like to offer your team members to keep track of them. For example, you have flexible, which would require face recognition. As you can see right there, that is disabled. GPS location is not required and it is also able for them to edit their time entries. I would more recommend that you go with moderate, which requires face recognition. GPS location will still not be required, but they can edit their time requirements, their time entries. If you would like to go to strict, where you require face recognition, require GPS location and locked time entries. As you can see, this is a good option for team monitoring for flexible offsite members. You could select that if you want. 
once you have done that you can scroll down and tap on save after you have saved it you could go over to the left hand menu option once more you could tap on work schedules after you have tapped on work schedules you could tap on add your work schedule right here and you could set up a new work schedule so for example you can add in the schedule name then you can add in the fixed hours that you would like your team members to work as you can see right here or if you would like to set up a flexible work schedule you can do that or a weekly work schedule once you're finished you could scroll down and if you go onto their premium plan you can also set up the break times and so on once everything is to your liking, you'll tap on save right here. Another thing that you can also do is by going over to the left hand menu option, you can set up the time off and holiday period as you can see right here. So you'll simply name the calendar and then from there you'll be able to enter the time off that you'll offer and so on. Another thing that you can also do by going over to the left hand menu option you could tap on location and from there you'll be able to track your team members location as you can see right here and to keep track of their activities and projects you can tap on activities and projects right here and you could add a new activity by going over to the top right hand corner you could tap on add activity and from there you can create different activities that you would like your team members to complete and you can also integrate other apps by tapping on integrations from the left hand menu option and you can integrate slack microsoft teams zapier or if you would like to add frames or any one of these platforms to do this or asada you can also do that as you can see that this app offers integration with numerous other platforms as you can see right here so this is definitely a one-stop app as you can see right here another thing that you can also do by going over to the left hand menu option you can tap on their timesheet and you'll be able to track different team members timesheet and you can also track their live location by tapping on live location right here and you can also track their time off period if you want so that is it hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and thank you for watching.